Now I'll finally be able to destroy you with my new cards. She's quite the looker, isn't she? Oh no! Oh. Hey guys, it's Remia, and we are playing Dino FTK this time. Normally, we would be trying to go first and win on turn one with this deck, but instead, we're seeing what we can do going second, which is much more challenging. But really quick, if you don't like my videos, you should subscribe and hit the bell, that way you won't forget to leave mean comments on my future videos. <laughs> Why are you the way that you are? Oh, anyway, let's just jump into the games. Dino FTK, going second. And we are up against sprites. Of course we are. All right. Um, we have a pretty big hill to climb here. Um, we don't have a lot of interaction. Obviously no interaction going second while they're taking their big turn. Um, but we do have a couple ways that we can bait out um, their negation. So we'll see if that'll work. Um, first thing, obviously they have a monster negation on red and a spell trap negation on carrot. A couple of face downs that we don't know what they are. Um, so let's hope for the best. First things first, we're going to activate our diagram and that does get their negation because you don't normally expect diagram to come out of a, uh, a dinosaur deck, so it's a pretty good way for our deck to bait out negations like this. So that does get rid of probably the most important negation they have in the spell trap negate. So that is off the board, which means we can safely activate Fossil Dig. Alrighty, grab a baby Sarasaurus, and they can add some sprite stuff. And now I'm gonna activate Lithosagem. And that scares them enough to use their red uh, monster negation. Now, if that had gone off, we still would have been able to summon our Lithosagem and pop our baby Sarasaurus. Um, they probably would have negated the baby Sarasaurus. So if they were a little more patient, this game might have gone differently. But they are going to negate our Lithosagem, which means we can go ahead and activate our real strategy of playing dinosaurs. Cool, cool. So now we activate our uh, Animadorned, send a baby off to the nursery. And even if they did have like an infinite impermanence here, we still have Miscellaneousaurus in the back to protect our dinos in response to their stuff. So we grab our double evolution pill and there is a uh, call by the grave, which is unfortunate. So we don't get to summon our Oviraptor from our deck, uh, but we can still go for our UCT and wipe their board here which is really good. So we're gonna go Link Karibo and then Secure Gardna, and that's gonna put an extra non-dino in our graveyard. Summon the big UCT, swing over all their monsters, um, and they buff their attack and defense, but it doesn't matter because they're in defense mode. Uh, UCT can just use his ability to deal a thousand damage and send it off to the graveyard. So we're gonna do that three times. Cool, cool. We've successfully uh, broken the sprite board. We set a called by the grave and we have Miscellaneousaurus to protect UCT. So um, I probably should have activated UCT there and flipped their cards face down, uh, but I'm feeling pretty good because we have a called by the grave as well. So in response to their gigantic sprite here, we can go ahead and called by the grave and that's going to negate their gigantic sprite they use Sprite Smashers, trying to get rid of our UCT, but Miscellaneousaurus protects our dinosaurs during the main phase, so we are gonna win this game. Beating Sprite going second with Dino FTK is pretty cool. That's, that's pretty big. Swing in. There it is. GG's. All right. Dino FTK, stuck going second. We're up against uh, Necroz deck. So they're gonna do their incantation stuff so they can get some searches off. Search Necroz cycle. Bri uh, Brianak gonna search their unicorn. 
and then they tribute both for Vanity's Ruler and summon Unicorn. All right. And they search Trish just for a turn two. Their board might not look scary, but it is actually terrifying. If you don't know, um, Unicor, first off, we'll start with him, uh, basically turns off all of your extra deck monster effects. Vanity's Ruler is the really scary one. He is a one-sided prevention for all special summoning. So they can special summon, but we cannot special summon for as long as this is on board. That pretty much shuts down like every deck in the game, except for like Flu, I guess. Um, maybe like True Draco could get through this too, but we love special summoning. Um, however, there is a way for us to break this board, which is, I th this is so cool. All right, so we are gonna go ahead and search Lost World. Lost World decreases all non-dinosaur monsters attack by 500, and we use our fossil dig to search Giant Rex. So, Vanity's Ruler will go down to 2,000, and Giant Rex will also be 2,000. So we normal summon, crash with their Vanity's Ruler, main phase two, use our Dogger and Kaiju to get rid of the Unicorn, and then we can still combo. Because Doggeran's a dinosaur, we can actually summon a token off of Kaijuing their monster, which is super cool. And then we can use Miscellaneousaurus, banish two, including the Giant Rex, to summon a Baby Cerasaurus from our deck. And that's also going to let us special summon our Giant Rex back because he was banished. And then we can use the one for one to go for Animadorned. And we're into our combo all of a sudden, even through the Vanity's Ruler and the Unicorn. So we find our Scrap Raptor, go for our Scrap Combos, bring back Chimera, destroy it right away, summon out our Golem, and then protect our token, send another baby off, Ovi Raptor, searches another Miscellaneousaurus, just for good measure, you know. And then we find, and then we summon back our Scrap Raptor, go for a three material Appaloosa, overlay for Lagia, and still have our double Evo to go for <laughs> UCT. So. Man, all right, so Appaloosa is two monster negates because Lost World is decreasing her attack. Um, Lagia is a spell or trap negate, pretty much. And uh, UCT is, of course, a board flip. And we have Miscellaneous Saurus in the back to protect our UCT as well. So suddenly we're looking pretty good. They go their Dogmatica Ecclesia, but we can just negate it, and then before they go to battle, we activate UCT to flip their board face down, so the dogger in we gave them can't swing over us. And then we draw a card. It is a fossil dig, so we're just gonna go ahead and use that for Oviraptor. Summon Oviraptor, search another Miscellaneousaurus for no reason. Mainly we were using it to put another token on their board, so UCT can just tear through their entire board, dealing a thousand damage per monster E sends to the graveyard and then they try to use punishment but again Lagia is a spell trap negate and we can just swing in through the vanities ruler through the unicorn man that was a good game ggs dinosaur ftk on the draw this game and they do nothing and pass it's very odd uh, we draw a giant rex so we are just going to go ahead and try to do our lost world scrap raptor stuff and they play Maxi, but we have an Ash Blossom. So there has to be like a fan art of Ash Blossom spraying bug spray everywhere, right? Um, anyway, <laughs> Scrap Raptor goes ahead and searches a Chimera. And because we don't have monsters on board and we gave our opponent a monster, we can actually summon our Pankratops in addition to our Scrap stuff, which is kind of cool. So Chimera summons Raptor and they go Nibiru. So in response to the Nibiru. All right, we activate the Pankratops, attempt to destroy the token, and then we can protect it with Lost World and send a baby from our deck to the nursery. And because the chain has to resolve before the Baby Sarasaurus's effect activates, we can still combo through the Nibiru. So let's see how we do this here. So there goes the baby. They go Nib, give us a token, and we get to summon our Oviraptor with the baby that we sent off, right? So Oviraptor, of course, gonna grab our Miscellaneousaurus, 
activate. And we can go ahead, summon Animadorn because we have a baby in hand as well. And we can exchange our baby. Keep going. And suddenly we're into our combo again. Through the Nibiru, right? Um, I do end up making the mistake of uh, not summoning our Transverser to the right zone, or rather not summoning Golem to this zone over here on the left where I put Magma, because we could have done the FTK that way. Um, but again, it really doesn't matter, right? We're still gonna win regardless because we can swing over their Nibiru. Cool, cool. So we give him the uh, Phantasma Lord, Ultimate Bishbalkin. And we can go ahead and do our combo. So up to Machu Mech. Not enough to kill because we miss sequence things, but then we can just swing over him. So, GG's through the Nibiru. Through the Nibiru, that was so cool. Alrighty, dinosaurs, going second. They set a bunch of cards and go for Heavenly Prison. And right away they activate Anti-Spell Fragrance, of course they do, and they set a Harpy's Feather Duster. <laughs> That's pretty rough, actually. Uh, you don't know, Anti-Spell Fragrance uh, prevents players from playing spell cards. Uh, basically they have to have the spell set for a full turn cycle before they can activate it, which is crazy. Um, and they just set Harpy's Feather Duster be like, ha ha, you won't be able to activate anything. That's kind of cute. Um, but we have uh, two Dog Ran in hand, which is kind of crazy. So we go ahead and Kaiju their Heavenly Prison. And we can bring out our own Dog Ran. <laughs> two Godzillas going at it and they trade. Um, so I get two dinosaurs in our graveyard. All right, that's important. Um, because now we can banish both of our dog hands and then uh, special summon UCT and just go ahead and pass turn. Um, so that's pretty funny. Uh, they go harpies, get rid of diagram, and then just pass because apparently they have no, uh, nothing in hand, no action. Um, so we can just swing in with UCT. Um, I'm just kind of waiting because I have baby Sarasaurus that I can send off to the nursery. Um, and it's pretty clear, obviously, that we're up against uh, Eldritch now. Um, unfortunate that they do manage to get rid of our UCT. Um, Eldritch versus Dinosaurs is actually a really interesting matchup because... Okay, um, he just stopped what I was trying to say. Uh, so they Monster Reborn our UCT, um, which normally doesn't happen because we summon it off of Double Evolution Pill, which summons it ignoring its summoning conditions meaning it wasn't summoned via its own condition of banishing two monsters. So normally when we use it with double Evo, it can't be special summoned back from the grave with something like Monster Reborn, um, but we actually summoned it properly <laughs> with our ridiculous double Kaiju opener. So uh, they, they uh, yeah, they steal our UCT. That's, that seems pretty good. Um, and we take a ton of damage. We get onto one and uh, Overlay our UCT. Oh man. <laughs> GG's. GG's, Eldledge. That was pretty funny. Dinosaurs, once again. Going second. And they go Magical Meltdown. So, some kind of invoked deck. Of course, they are going to get into Mechaba. So they go up to Artemis, play Invocation, and Fusion Summon for their Machaba. Machaba, if you don't know, um, that is not how you say it, but <laughs> if you don't know, he basically negates something and banishes it, and then they end their turn with a Gene Raider boss stage. So they are Gene Raider Invoked, which is actually pretty cool. Gene Raiders can definitely set up some pretty crazy things. Har is the main one. This guy, he actually looks pretty sick. Um, so we go ahead and Dragonic Diagram, um, just because we're trying to bait this uh, Mechaba Negate. And they do pull the trigger, which they probably should have waited, uh, because now we can use Lost World. And they get rid of our Lost World, but we still have Miscellaneousaurus, Oviraptor, and a baby. So we can go full combo regardless, right? So we successfully baited their stuff. They do make us send a card, but we still have Oviraptor. Um, and we can search a UCT, we have a double Evo, 
and we can go full combo uh, because they use their interaction a little too early. Um, but like in their defense, Dragonic Diagram is a pretty scary card too. So it's usually a negate on site card, but they didn't know that we were also dinosaurs, right? Uh, we had a lot of stuff that we could use to play through their board. Um, and we can definitely just win the game here. Chimera, summon Scraptor. And we just go ahead and summon Appaloosa just in case they have something, I guess. Um, not that I think we do, but UCT, gonna rip through their whole board and then we can just swing in. GG's. Dinosaurs, once again. All right, so we are up against Salamangrates. Up against, did I say that right? Oh my goodness. So they're of course gonna summon their field spell and then go ahead and draw some cards. So they can do their whole thing. We did not draw interaction. And they take kind of an odd route for salads, in my opinion. Um, they go to Heat Soul. I would rather have gone for uh, Sunlight Wolf, but maybe they couldn't get into Gazelle, so they wanted to draw some extra cards, which I totally get, that's fine. Uh, but we have Fossil Dig Tron. Oh my goodness, we have three of them. Uh, and they still don't have Ash Blossom, so. We can just use our fossil digs to set up our win here. Search a baby, search an oviraptor, and miscellaneousaurus. So we can go ahead and use lithosagem and send both of our babies to the nursery and we get to banish their most important cards. So obviously we we play salamangrates. Um, if you didn't see our first salamangrate video, I will put an iCard up or something. Um, so we banish the update jammer and the access code, which are easily the most important targets to get rid of for Salamangrate because Update Jammer lets access code swing twice and that's like their primary method of winning the game, right? If they can't do that, they're stuck, like basically just trying to control you out of the game. Um, and then just Baguska because we don't want to see the tape here. And we can summon a bunch of stuff off of our babies and then exchange it go for an animadorn and grab double evo and we can pretty much just win the game from here um we do summon petit Tyrannodon. i might want to go for the uh the burn with machu mech if i feel like it um and we can get rid of their forbidden droplet which they probably should have used at some point but it's fine so they managed to get out a nibiru we just go Cerberus because we can, um, and then go Appaloosa. And we still have double Evo to bring out a UCT. Um, plus, by the way, their, their Forbidden Droplet, yeah, they could have used it at some point, but our Miscellaneousaurus was protecting all of our stuff, so it was kind of difficult for them to use. Um, they could have definitely like negated our scrap stuff, but like we still could have won the game regardless, right? So. GG's. Well, that is gonna do it for this video, guys. If you made it this far, please like and subscribe. I made several changes to the deck while I was playing it, so if you're interested, I am working on an in-depth guide for dinosaurs and the several different ways that you can build dinosaurs. So stay tuned for that, and I hope you guys have a great day. I will see you next time.